in this video, we're going to continue to talk about um, the heat in time as well as a maximum of uh, Brownian motion. But we'll we'll uh, take a retrospective view of the strong market property we have used in the derivation. Um, but let's first uh, uh, remark one of uh, the uh, uh, relation we used in the textbook. Um, the textbook derived this uh, from a point of view of hitting time, but we in, instead uh, we use this m of t. Okay, so um, the probability of the maximum of a Brownian motion up to time t is greater than a is actually is equal to the hitting time is less than uh, or equal to t. Okay, uh, this is a relation uh, the textbook have used. Uh, this means uh, the Brownian motion's maximum from 0 to t is uh, greater than or equal to a. And this one, it means um, this Brownian motion reaches uh, a before t. And they are actually uh, represent representing the same event. Um, and now uh, let's explain um, the strong Markov property. And but first, let's uh, recall the uh, Markov property of the Brownian motion, which is also uh, the uh, independent increment. Okay. Um, so, and let's still do um, W of T is our uh, standard Brownian motion. And for a real number, C, let's say uh, C is uh, positive and real number, okay, um, and it's non random. Um, we define a new uh, stochastic process. It means we kind of reset or we start our camera, start our clock um, at C. So we define this x of t as w um, s. I'm sorry, this should be uh, w of t plus c subtract w of c. Okay, and by independent uh, increment, uh, x t is um, a standard Brownian motion as well. Okay, by independent increment, and of course uh, uh, stationary increment, because they uh, it has to follow um, the same distribution uh, with this uh, W of t is an SBM as well, and it is uh, independent with. Whatever happens before this C. Okay. All right. And now um, the strong mark of uh, property is something different. I mean, this is nothing but independent uh, increment. But strong mark of property is actually something much stronger. I will see uh, in a moment. Strong Markov property changes um, this constant C right here to a random time. Okay. So now for a random stopping time, and we will explain uh, in a moment what does a stopping time mean. For a random stopping time, uh, capital T, okay. Um, X of T defined by W of little t plus capital T subtract of W 
of capital T is a standard Brownian motion, and this part is a stationary increment, and the Markovian comes with it's independent of all possible path, all possible paths of W of S for S um, up to uh, this capital T, okay? And uh, um, and why uh, we'll see this is called strong market property is because of this uh, definition of uh, stopping time. And let's uh, um, let's define what a stopping time is. Okay. So not all, not first of all, not all time are stopping time. And uh, um, and now let's learn what is a stopping time. Stopping time doesn't mean we stop the time. It simply means uh, we can uh, record the time or say uh, we can interrupt the clock, something like that. So um, a um, heuristic definition of stopping time is, uh, let's say, uh, stopping time is capital T. Uh, let's use another letter, uh, this gamma. What is the stopping time gamma is? Uh, gamma is uh, s satisfying some rule. And for some rule, we can, uh, this rule interrupts um, a stochastic process. Okay, let's say this stochastic process f x of t but it can only interrupt this uh, x sub t without knowing any future information. Okay. So without any information in the future, and this future is with respect to this gamma itself. And now let's see uh, some example. And what does this future mean? So for example, um, we defined earlier a uh, time that uh, this Brownian motion first reaches uh, uh, A. That, that's a stopping time first. And uh, however, if we take a peek into the future um, like this, um, the stopping time we, uh, we learned earlier is something like if we say x has reached let's say uh, 2 okay and we record the time and we say uh, we record the time uh, at that moment and we call this time uh, t sub 2 which is uh, t sub 2, all right? And uh, so th th this is the stopping time, okay? And however, if we say um, xt has reached 2 the first time at uh, t sub 2, but we record the time gamma one day and let's say uh, our time unit is a day uh, one day before um, this t sub 2 then gamma is not a stopping time because uh, we used information um, actually after um, this time t of 2 okay and this is like heuristics so use uh, uh, the example earlier we learned that so for example um, stopping time we used earlier is we define m of t equals the maximum of the Brownian motion uh, 
up to T. Okay. And we define um, the event of M of T is greater than A is the same thing as something like uh, gamma is less than T and where gamma is defined by the infimum of uh, S okay between uh, the probability of uh, these two the infimum of S such that um, W of S has reached this A And then gamma here is the stopping time. However, um, think about this. If we define instead of uh, instead we continuously track the maximum of a Brownian motion, we define something like uh, the maximum of a Brownian motion um, at uh, from 0 to 1 okay and then we define gamma is the infimum of uh, let's say uh, t is from 0 to 1 of t such that wm is uh, is m uh, then gamma is not a brown emotion because we take a peak actually also uh, involving the future time of gamma because we have used the information. First of all, gamma is a time uh, between uh, 0 to 1. Let's say gamma is here, but we have used the information also here to... Uh, let's say, uh, to determine this uh, gamma. So uh, it is not a stopping time.